you want to install um, Android 5.0 Lollipop on your device or Android L. It's called a couple different things. Android L, G, I wonder why, because Android Lollipop. And you've got the LG G2. Guess what? It's now available for your G2. Uh, well, a few of the variants, the D800, the D801, and the D803. Two, as far as I know for right now, I'm sure it's available for the rest. I'm not sure about the international versions, but check out XDA in the link below and just search away and find out. Now, all you got to do, a few things first, you just simply need to, um, on the home screen, you would simply need to wipe it. They have already done this, but just select that clean and uh, clean to install a new ROM. You may want to do that a couple times just to make sure you clean everything out real well. Um, then you would be doing wipe, wipe cache partition. Do that a couple of times as well. I know some people are like, you don't have to clean it a couple of times, but you know, it's, uh, it's just makes me feel better. Another thing, let me point out real quick. I'm at 34%. Never do this uh, lower than 70% or so. Uh, you don't want any catastrophes happening if your charger port goes out during the boot and the boot takes too long or something. Or you just never know what can happen with low battery life. You want to be prepared. So 70, 80% always, but, uh, done this so many times I feel pretty sure nothing's going to happen. Now after you've wiped uh, the cache and done the uh, clear to uh, wipe to install new ROM, you want to go to advance, wipe the Dalvi cache right there, and you hit yes a couple times, and uh, now once we're ready you can uh, install zip, install zip from SD card, mine just happens to be down here, a couple folders in, and I would simply just be going down to, did I miss it? Something go, there it is. It's uh, signs your mod 12, uh, it's, it's, uh, it was 11, it was made on 11, 20, 2014, or finished on 11, 20, 2014. It's experimental as it says. For the D800, you wanna go ahead and flash that. It will stutter for a second. And there she goes. Don't worry about that amount of slash data failed. She's fine. Okay, once that's complete, I'm going to go back and choose from a last install folder. We're going for the gaps now. Yeah, there are there gaps LP for lollipop made 11 9 2014 and uh, here we go Let's simply select and it will flash those real quick and feels is much to me anyway it's much faster than TWRP sorry I don't have I'm just using my stock Nexus uh, uh, Google camera design the pause option so I can't just skip through this and I'm too lazy to download a special camera for that. Um, or edit this, this uh, video. Now I want to choose it from last in soft folder. Now, if you're coming from the stock LG software or even like the cloudy software or um, any of the, uh, the stock LG software, it, you need to change your modem. That's, that's using the KK baseband uh, D100 modem, especially if you're on KK, well, if you're on KitKat anyway. Um, you or, you or you will not have rotation, so you simply need to go ahead and Google if you haven't have it if you don't have it already. I'll put it in the uh, links below. Um, it's the D800 uh, KK modem uh, underscore AOS or the AOSP KK modem. I think you can pretty much search it like that, but I'll put the link in the description below. Go ahead and flash that as well. Or like I said, you will not have rotation, and we got kind of have that if you like to play it. You know, racing game or maybe modern combat 4 or something or just simply use your phone in landscape mode <clears throat> this will take just a second it's actually taking longer than normal and I was just bragging about feels
Okay, modem flash, okay. Now you can simply, what you want to do, I do believe, um, I've already flashed this once, and I think I did lose root. I'm um, pretty sure I did. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying. I think, you know, when you lose root and you're a power user, um, you need to go to, sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, Fill settings. Uh, reroute or let's be verify reroute on exit. Let's go ahead and remark that and reroute system. Okay, it says install. Let's see, uh, done now. It's all suppress you from the market. And now that all that's done, you can go back and reboot your phone. Now, this part will take just a second. And there's the Cyanide Mod boot screen. And the uh, cool thing with G2 is, well, along with some other phones, when you see your status light come on, uh, that's pretty much your uh, home free sign, which will come on here momentarily. Um, if it doesn't come on within the first couple minutes uh, after it starts to boot, you may want to get worried. Um, and even if it does come on, if it keeps, if you keep seeing the animation after about, um, you know, five to ten minutes or so, you may want to get worried. Go on there now, make sure this charger's been stuck in there. Look at me, I'm already freaking out thinking, oh no, the animations or the status light. Oh, there's the status light, okay. Charger's about had it in the old Samsung charger. <clears throat> This will take us a couple more minutes. And then I'm just going to give you a, br a brief uh, walkthrough, a uh, very brief walkthrough of the uh, of how it's going to look once it's complete. Um, there's probably, there are some Google service uh, problems you have to do. You have to download, or you have to update some Google services, and you simply do, you have to do the third party. Uh, if it's like it was a while ago, um, and you don't have root, um, super issue, may have, probably may have to completely reroute. Um, and it's, it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, I'm sure there's exploits out there for 5.0. Um, uh, so, you know, that's what XDA is for. So, But, you know, the main thing is you have, you know, Lollipop, the latest and greatest uh, Android operating system um, on your LG G2, a phone that probably wasn't going to get this software um, for at least probably the next four to five months. Maybe not that long, but it's, it's going to be a few months. I mean, my Nexus 5 just got it yesterday. Well, day before yesterday. And just to clarify, we're waiting on this. The Nexus 5, I let mine uh, go over there, the OTA update. Um, there's a lot of talk about stuttering and lag on, uh, on Lollipop. I can see where there is on the ones that are sideloaded onto the Nexuses. Uh, they they root really their Nexus and just do this this uh exactly what you're seeing right here uh, flash custom ROM after unlocking the bootloader. Um, but the OTA update for me anyway uh works extremely well. It's extremely fluid, extremely fast. I haven't had any problems. I'm a power user. Um, tons of apps are working. I have not rooted it yet, so that could be a problem uh, after after I do root. And uh, but you never know. I may not even go that route and here we go it's a good sign when it stops it's about to boot into lollipop and there it is there's your welcome screen and go ahead and tap here it's got a little lag there it goes I'm gonna skip this for now skip anyway I'm just gonna give you the brief rundown there's the new material keyboard There's all your, there we go, and finish, and there it is. There is 5.0 for the um, LG G2. I'll go ahead and do the rundown, there it is, right here. And there it is, LG D800, for Android version 5.0, kernel, from 3.0, 3.4.0. Um, 
Uh, so that's all. And it's all a pretty recent build date in the 20th of this month. Um, nice, nice, nice. And of course, everybody wants to see me do this. There it is, the ripoff of Flappy Bird. The game that just makes you want to destroy your phone. Yeah, I can't play that. But anyway, there it is, fun fully functioning. And there's the the gaps. That, that you got a few of them anywhere on there. And of course, you got the Apollo um, um, uh, player on there from this that's uh, very well known this year that you get with all the Sandromon. Get your uh, Hangouts. You didn't get the new Google Messenger. I think it's still maybe in beta. Um, I'm not sure if I got the Google Messenger on my Nexus 5 because I had already updated it to Google Messenger through a third party ABK. But you do have the old 4.4 style uh, messaging that comes with those gaps. And I'm sure if you want it, simply Google Google Messenger ABK and download it. It works. It should work great on this since it is 5.0. Um, and, and it is AOSP base. And there's the new dialer. Um, I've already tested this ROM. The Wi-Fi works on it. The network works uh, great. Um, it just needs a couple things updated. Like I said, the Google services. Um, uh, pretty much uh, the Google services, um, the Play Store, uh, the Play Store most definitely needs updated because when it does search, it lags and... Uh, and uh, for some reason, even though that is the, one of the latest versions of the Play Store, it's not up to date enough for this ROM. It could be a glitch. It may be fixed in the nightlies. Um, let's see if they still have their nightly um, updates. Yeah, there we go. I have a grid out on this G2, so I have to turn it sideways, touch anything on that part of the screen. Um, I can't check. I'm not connected to the internet. Duh. But anyway, there it is. It's the basic rundown for the G2. It works. It works great. Um, this is a cool option. Like it has uh, tilt to instead of have, well, it's very sensitive tilt to uh, light up. But the uh, accelerometer in it, any the lightest little touch will make it come on. So when you pick it up, instead of having to double tap, it just comes on. Uh, you can uh, flash a certain um, file to get your knock on back. Um, but uh, when it's down and flat, like I said, it picks up almost anything because it's so sensitive and there is no sensitivity setting. And that comes with the ROM, see what I mean? But anyway, so it's flat. You simply go pick it up and it, uh, unlock, or it uh, turns the screen on for you to unlock. But there it is. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to uh, comment below and hit that subscribe button. It helps me out a lot. Um, and if you would, you know, give me a nice link to, uh, some good gaps, maybe a good bundle of gaps that gives you like Google messenger and everything all together, all the goodies that's fresh from Google, even though they may be in their beta, uh, testing mode, they're still great to have because you, if you're an, if you're a diehard power using, uh, Android fanatic like me, and probably most of you that are watching this video, you want the latest and greatest. Um, anyway, till next time, stay calm while you're flashing ROMs.